welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be an ASMR reading in the pose. I know I haven't done such videos for a long time and today is the perfect day for this. I have prepared 10 pentacles. Look at this. My favorite type of super soft seamless pantyhose here they are very sheer 20 denier but rather dark ones I'm gonna try them on right now and then do some reading and pantyhose teasing for you Learning to give A man's deepest fear is that he is not good enough or that he is incompetent He compensates by his fear By focusing on increasing the power His power and competence Success, achievement and efficiency are foremost in his life Before they discovered the Venusians, the Martians were so concerned with those qualities that they didn't care about anything or anybody else. A man appears most uncaring when he is afraid. And just as women are afraid of receiving men, are afraid of giving. To extend himself and given to others means to risk failure, correction and disapproval. These consequences are most painful because deep inside he is unconscious. He holds an incorrect belief that he is not good enough. This belief was formed and reinforced in childhood every time he thought he was expected to do better. When his accomplishments went unnoticed or were unappreciated, Deep in his unconscious, he began forming the incorrect belief that he was not good enough. A man is particularly vulnerable to his incorrect belief. It generates within him the fear of failing. He wants to give but is afraid he will fail so he doesn't try. If his biggest fear is inadequacy, he naturally is going to avoid any unnecessary risks. Ironically, when a man really cares a lot, his fear of failure increases and he gives less. To avoid failure, he stops giving to the people he wants to give the most. When a man is insecure, he may compensate by not caring about anybody except himself. His most automatic defense response is to say, I don't care. For these reasons, the Martians didn't let themselves feel to care or care too much for others. By becoming successful and powerful, they finally realized that they were good enough and that they could succeed in giving they then discovered in Venetians. Although they had always been good enough, the process of proving their power prepared them for the wisdom of self-esteem. Through becoming successful and then looking back, they realized that their every failure was necessary to achieve their later success. Every mistake had taught them a very important lesson. 
necessary to achieve their goals. Thus, they realized they had always been good enough. Is it okay to make mistakes? The first step for a man in learning how to give more is to realize that it's okay to make mistakes and it's okay to fail and he doesn't have to have all the answers. I remember the story of a woman who complained that her partner would never make a commitment to marriage. To her, it seemed that he didn't care as much as she did. One day, however, she happened to say that she was so happy being with him. Even if they were poor, she would want to be with him. The next day, he proposed. He needed the substance and encouragement, the acceptance and encouragement that he was good enough for her and then he could feel how much he cared. Martians need love too. Just as women are sensitive to feeling rejected when they don't get attention they need, men are sensitive to feeling that they have failed when a woman talks about problems. This is why it is so hard for him to listen sometimes. He wants to be her hero when he is disappointed or unhappy or where anything he feels like a failure. Her unhappiness confirms his deepest fear. He is just not good enough. Many women today don't realize how vulnerable men are and how much they need love too. Love helps him to know that he is enough to fulfill others. It's difficult for a man to listen to a woman when she's unhappy or disappointed because he feels like a failure. A boy who is fortunate enough to see his father succeed in fulfilling his mother's enters relationships as an adult with a rare confidence that he can succeed in fulfilling his partner. He is not terrified of commitment because he knows he can deliver. He also knows that um, he also knows that when he doesn't deliver he is still a quiet and still deserves love and appreciation for going for doing the best. He does not condemn himself because he knows because he knows that he is not perfect and that he is always doing his best and his best is good enough. He is able to apologize for his mistake because he expects forgiveness, love and appreciation for doing the best. He knows that everyone makes mistakes. He saw his father make mistakes and continue to love himself. He witnessed his mother loving and forgiving his father through all his mistakes. He felt her trust and encouragement even through at times. His father had disappointed her. Many men did not have successful role models while they were growing up. For them staying in love, getting married and having a family is as difficult as flying a jumbo yet without any training. He may be able to take off, but he is sure to crash. It's difficult to continue flying a jumbo jet without any training. When the Martians and Venetians first go together, they encountered many of the problems with relationships we have today, because they recognized that they were different. They were able to solve these problems. One of the secrets of their success was good communication. Ironically, they communicated well because they spoke different languages. When they had problems, they would just go to a translator for assistance. 
Everyone knew that people from Mars and people from Venice spoke different languages, so when there was a conflict, they didn't start judging or fighting, but instead pulled out their phrase dictionaries to understand each other more fully. If they didn't work, they went to a translator for help.